Hi everybody, it's 314 Reactor here. Today we're going to be looking at Unreal Tournament 2004 with Reshade and the Ray Tracing Global Elimination plugin. So let's load up some Curse 4. Now unfortunately I'm not really going to be able to show any gameplay because there's something very weird with Unreal Tournament 2004 that won't work with Reshade properly. Let me show you what I mean. So in spectator mode, we go in and the Global Illumination is on. We've got the lighting channel. See everything's fine, the depth buffer is being accessed properly, it's all good, and you can see it's making quite a distinct difference. Okay, so we press fire to start, and we're in, and you'll see the effects have pretty much gone. There's not a lot going on except on the gun. Now if we switch to the lighting channel, you'll now see that in first person mode, the only thing being affected is now the gun. I'm not sure why this happens. I spent a long time googling around over the weekend to try and get this to work. Even tried a third person mod, but nope. The global illumination will only work in spectator mode. So what I'm going to do is have it in spectator mode. We're going to fly around a few maps with the global illumination setting on. If anyone knows how to get this working or what's wrong, then please do let me know in the comments um, if there's any fix for this. To get this working, I have had to convert the DirectX 8 renderer that it's in up to DirectX 9 using a DLL file which you can download, I'll link that down below. You need to drag that into the system folder and then install Reshade um, for OpenGL mode. Then when you boot up the game, make sure it's in D3D8 mode. It should be converted to D3D9 calls by the DLL and then Reshade should just load up and work. You have to make sure, I found anyway, that you have to make sure uh, Reshade installs as OpenGL because it will keep detecting as a D3D8 program and won't let you install for DirectX. But if you install as an OpenGL program, it'll allow that through and then it'll switch to Direct3D9 mode when you boot up. So anyway, enough talk. Let's restart this map and stay in spectator mode. Let's turn on the illumination. So, let's up the ray length, 7, and the frame rate is still pretty smooth, we'll just pump the ray amount up to 6, yep, that's where the frame rate starts to go, we pump the ray amount up to 20, so let's keep that at 6, that's still quite smooth, ray step amount up to 14, uh, ambient occlusion intensity, bounce lighting intensity, let's pump that up just a little bit, make sure the fade out's right up because we want it to go as far as possible. We can see there's a whole lot of depth added. That's brought the frame rate down quite a bit, but it's worth it. Nice dark lighting in these darker areas. This area is especially nice because you've got all the light effects flying around there. And if we turn it off, boom. See that add, just adds a huge amount of extra bounce lighting around there. And then lots and lots of nice ambient occlusion in the corners around these little stones and stuff sticking out the wall. So it adds a hell of a lot of depth to the scene. Let's see if we can bring that frame rate back to under control because that is a bit low at the moment. Okay, so it's the ray amount that seems to be the culprit. And then six appears to be where the frame rate starts to take a bit of a dive. So let's knock it down to four. That seems to be a good compromise on the strength and the frame rate. Check this out. Look at that. It looks so much nicer. So much more natural lighting. You see there the lighting from the uh, health pack as it's flying around. You see it's lighting up those bits as it goes around there. Round, round, and then boom. Totally gone without the ray tracing. And then boom, back on. Shadowing around there, shadowing around there. Looks so good. Looks so much better. Also, I've had a couple of comments from people saying about how they would need an RTX card to run this. You do not need an RTX card to run the Reshade Global Illumination Ray Traced shader. All you need is a DirectX 9 card, uh, depending on the game you're playing, but DirectX 9 is the minimum, I think, as well as OpenGL to get Reshade running. So yeah, you don't need an RTX card, you just need a relatively powerful card that has at least DirectX 9. Obviously if the game you're trying to put Reshade in is DirectX 10 or 11 or 12, you'd need a card to run that. So yeah, just to clarify. Look at that, that effect is there. 
that effect there as well. As it's coming off the polygons, I think they're the shiny bit. Spinning around, spinning around, spinning around. Because this does look gorgeous. Okay, let's load up another map. I think Hyperblast 2 will be pretty good. So already we can see the nice shadow in there. So that's spinning around. So let's take this scene here. That's with the ray tracing on. And that's with it off. I think maybe that ambient occlusion effect is a bit too strong. Let's turn that down to 2 from 4. That looks a little bit better. A little bit more subtle. It's just a case of playing around with these settings to see what works. We can also add some other effects in. So that's added in screen space reflections, which is going to bring the frame rate way down. Let's put on DLC Sharpen. Put on Reflective Bump Mapping. And let's see if we can also add Depth of Field. We had that in last on the render order. Oh, wow. So that actually looks pretty damn good. It's tanked the frame rate right down. But that looks really, really good. Just with all that lighting reflecting off the surfaces there. That just looks cinematic, dare I say. Damn. That looks, how good does that look? I mean, obviously it's not quite there, but it starts to become a bit reminiscent of like more modern Unreal 3 or 4 titles with all this stuff on. So I've now changed to a different type of depth of field there, which is the one that I used on... In fact, this whole setup is very uh, similar to the setup that I used in my other video for Unreal Tournament 99. Wow. With everything together, that looks pretty damn good. Let's fire up another map. Love Giant 2. Ooh, that looks nice. Oh wow, that does look really good. Those screen space reflections look really, really good. Oh. That's where it doesn't look so good there. That's where it's kind of giving away the the low polygonal terrain. Oh, yeah, that's not so cool. But in these areas, that's actually not too bad. Let's see what it looks like on phase three. See, again, you've got that kind of... Uh, effect there on the geometry which kind of giving things away which kind of sucks a little bit yeah, it's SSR that's doing that that frame rate though that frame rate <laughs> it's not it's not happy so this is with sharpening reflective bump mapping screen space reflections ray traced global illumination and depth of field. And this is with all of the previous off. Yeah. That's a hell of a difference.
fire up some Phobos 2. Okay, that looks really good. Alright, so I've switched back to Mike McFly's Depth of Field shader. I think it looks a bit more cinematic and the bouquet effect is a lot more stronger but it does make things overall a bit more out of focus I think I need to tweak it a bit more but I think that gives the most quote unquote cinematic looking effect especially like there now I've realized since we can spectate but not actually play without losing the effects I think we should be able to add some bots in. Actually, let's go back to Curse 4 and spectate. Yeah, so we can see some gameplay, but from the spectator perspective. So yeah, that's pretty damn awesome. That looks really good. Look at that. Play. Oh, there we go. Red flag taken. Blue flag taken. Red flag to red flag returned. Red flag taken. Red flag, dropped. red flag returned. Red flag taken. Blue flag, blue flag returned. Blue oh, that looks taken. cool. Blue flag, blue flag Everyone fighting returned. the reflections, stuff flying around. Ooh! Oh, that was nasty. Oh my god. <laughs> Red flag, red flag returned. Blue flag, flag dropped. returned. Blue flag, Absolute flag shame returned. that it won't work Blue when you're playing the game. Because that would dropped. look incredible. Thanks for watching. Returned. Drop a like and subscribe. And yeah, if you know any way to get this working in actual gameplay without just spectating, please do let me know, because that would be really, really cool. As you can see here, it adds a hell of a lot to the game. Uh, let me know of any other games if you want to see ray tracing applied in them. Not all games work, unfortunately. Oh, and also linked down below is links to Reshade and how to get the ray tracing shader as well as a link to the D3D8 to D3D9 DLL that you'll need to apply to Unreal Tournament 2004 in order to get reshade to work on it properly. And I will be trying the original Unreal at some point with reshade on so stick around for that and I'll see you in the next one.